Can you be a real programmer if you don't know assembly? Yep. Will knowing assembly help you get promoted faster? Probably not. So is there any value in learning assembly? It's complicated. Hello, and welcome to Senior Code Review Buddy. My name is Chris, and today I'm going to talk about assembly code. In case you've not encountered it before, Assembly code usually refers to any low-level programming language, and these languages tend to have a fairly direct relationship between the instructions available to them and the hardware that they run on. I have a bit of experience with assembly code. I wrote a compiler back in university that compiled a subset of Java into assembly, and at a previous job, I spent some time trying to disassemble some Windows binaries to try and figure out what exactly they were doing. Now, let's go look at some assembly code. This is a Hello World program in Assembler Intel. I found it in a GitHub repo with multiple Hello World programs in a variety of languages, including multiple assembly languages. I've put a link to it in the description below if you want to see some other examples. So I've not worked with this particular assembly language before, and if not for the hello world string there, I don't think I would know this was a hello world program. This code is moving values between registers, which maps really well to what is happening on a hardware level, but that's not how most people will generally think about their code. The high level languages we usually work with abstract away these complex details. It's still happening in Java or Python programs, it's just behind the scenes. And that's part of the reason I don't think developers need to understand assembly code. We've developed high level languages that are able to add a useful layer of abstraction and allow us to write programs in a way that is a lot easier to map to the problem we are trying to solve and to understand. But there are advantages to knowing assembly and I think understanding assembly, even at just a high level, can help you become a better programmer. When you work in assembly, any assembly language, any hardware, and any problem, you are suddenly going to be dealing with a whole bunch of new limits and challenges that you didn't have before in the higher programming language you worked in. One small example is that calling a function with parameters is a lot more complex and a lot more work. You'll need to gather up your arguments, store them in the correct location on the stack before jumping into that function you want to call. And you'll also need to make sure that you're able to tell that function where it needs to return to when it's done. These aren't things that you need to worry about or even think about in your higher programming language. They were handled for you, but they were still happening behind the scenes. So when you sort of know some assembly, you'll better understand that one statement in your higher level language won't always equal another statement. While the statements can appear equal in the higher level language because they take up the same amount of space, you'll know that behind the scenes, they can be quite different in terms of complexity, memory usage, or time. One interesting example of this is recursive functions. If you have a tail recursive function, which means the recursive call is the last thing done in that function, the assembly code doesn't actually need to return to that spot. It can return one function up the stack, as there isn't any other work to do there. So that means that this function call can be removed from the stack at that point, so it's going to be a little more efficient. But if there was another command that happened after that recursive call, you're still going to have to then return back to that function, so it's going to have to stay on the stack. This means that the two recursive functions that look almost identical in the higher level language can have a fairly large difference between them in terms of efficiency when we compile them to the assembly code. While I do think this helps show why learning assembly can be helpful, I do want to clarify that I think it's helpful because it enables you to better understand how things are working under the hood and how you can maybe make some better coding decisions. I don't think that you'll actually need to write assembly code, I know that assembly code is sometimes touted as the language of choice when something needs to be really efficient, but I don't think there are that many cases where a developer will be able to make more optimized code in assembly than a modern compiler or interpreter can do. And that's even ignoring the additional challenges of writing assembly code and then maintaining assembly code over using that higher level language. I took a look at the Linux source code repo today, and only about 0.7% of that repo is written in assembly. So even at that level, which is 
really close to the hardware, there aren't that many cases where they think assembly is the best call. If this discussion has got you interested in learning more about assembly, I don't sadly have any resources that I've personally used and can recommend. I did do a bit of searching, and it looks like the book The Art of 64-Bit Assembly Volume 1 might be a good place to start. There is also a compiler course offered by Stanford Online for free that sounds really similar to the class I'd previously taken. It looks like it'll walk you through building your own compiler, and so you'll not just learn assembly, but also how to convert a higher level language to assembly code. If you've got the time and the interest, that course is probably worth digging into. I can say that the compiler class I took was one of the most interesting and challenging classes that I took, and I think it had a big impact on my ability to grow as a coder. And those are my brief thoughts on assembly code. If you liked this video and would like to see more like it, please hit the like button below and consider subscribing to my channel. If you have any comments, code you'd like me to review, or ideas you'd like me to talk about, please leave a comment below or reach me at chris at seniorcodereviewbuddy.com. Thanks, and have a great day.